coming to you with some Van Diemen's inks. Oh no, my box got broken. So we have the Birds of a Feather line that uh, Van Diemen's recently came out with. I ended up ordering mine from um, in sample form from Van Ness. Um, there was one that I was pretty sure I wanted a bottle of, so I got a bottle of that one. And um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and sample all these. I have um, off to the side over here. I have my laptop with um, Van Diemen's website pulled up because I don't know. Okay, it's a. It seems like they do have it listed by name. Because what the, what this is, it's birds of a feather, but they have like each bird has two to four inks for specific parts of it, like it's its face or its wings or its tails or I don't know whatever. So we have eighteen inks to here to swatch. I am on limited borrowed time, um, so we're just gonna get started. I think this is the fastest I've ever started a video. Um, as always, I'm going to be swatching on coloring cards. Coloring cards, I just have some like random paper as a background. Um, I have some craft brushes, some paint brushes here. I brought my automatic pen, but I don't think I'm gonna be using it, to be honest. Um, I do have a Galen Leather Everyday Notebook, which has, um, Told my river paper in it and I will be uh, swatching um, I'll do a little swatch on the Tomoe river paper so we can see it and uh, yeah um, I did want to I did want to see how some of these compare to the current line so let me see if I can grab those cards real fast I've grabbed my Van Diemen's hopefully I have all of the inks on here I have a feeling that I don't and a lot of them are in piles of, of swatches that I need to organize but we'll do the best we can. I have sneezed, we are ready. I was gonna try to do these in an order. Let me get a vial sample holder. This is my Inkapet. I can't remember if this was a gift or if we got it in an ink flight, because I've gotten gifts and I've gotten them in ink flights. I think this was an ink flight because it's an octopus, but I'm not sure. Um, okay, so anyway, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna start. I should probably do these in like a certain order but we're just gonna go. I've labeled my paper, so I don't need to, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Pull the first one out is Mandarin Duck Wing. I am gonna do this one last because it's the bottle. Um, just because, for no particular reason, just because. Just because. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. So my coloring card, I also have my uh, Moon Man and a six glass dip pen. And yeah, so this is Mandarin Duck Wing. And again, these samples are from Van Ness Pens here in the States. I figured um, I got the bottle of this one because I was certain I was going to love it and I would be sad if it was sold out. Um, and that way, if there's other ones that I like um, in this collection that I feel like I need to have bottles of, Mandarin Duckwing. Duckwing. Then I will um, maybe order them straight from Australia. Who knows? We'll see. Um, or like get them from Van Ness, you know, I don't know. We'll see. It depends on, um, you know, what's available when I decide I want to buy them. I actually have quite a wish list of inks that I want to buy, um, even though I don't need any of them. Um, yeah. And I have quite a few inks that are in route. <laughs> it's a problem, y'all. It's a problem. Oh, it's so pretty. This is a really pretty, like, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like a maroon or a brown. It looks more red, but that's why it, while it's while it's wet. Who knows what it'll look like when it's dry? The text looks kind of like a brown. This is very pretty. Mandarin 
duck wing. It's really pretty, kind of like burgundy sort of color. It, or is it maroon? Which one's more red? Is maroon more red? I don't know. It's like a reddish brown. We'll see what it looks like when it's dry. That's pretty. Just to put the samples somewhere when I'm done with them, I'm going to stick them in this case right here. Just so they have a place to go and aren't taking up space. Um, maybe I should put this over here. Like that. Okay. Just so they have like a home to go to. Next up we have Kookaburra Wing. Which the full name is Laughing Kookaburra. So, okay. I guess we're starting with all the wings. I wasn't intending to start with wings, but I guess that's where we're starting. Kookaburra wing. Laughing Kookaburra wing. Cat hair. Should I zoom in a little bit? Again, I ordered these from Van Ness Pens. I paid for these. They weren't sent to me. And demons. Laughing Kookaburra. Wing. This reminds me a little bit of uh, Pixie Parasols. I can't remember if that's one that they kept or not. But just like that light sort of blue. Although that might be a little more greenish, a little more aqua. I'm not, I don't remember exactly, but we'll find out. It's one of their seasons lines, so I'm sure that they still have it in, in existence. I'm like an unofficial uh, Van Diemen's ink swatch library. I've swatched all of their inks with the exception of... I want to say I've missed a few of the reformulations that they've done of the Tasmania collection um, because when I went to buy them they weren't in stock and so I have to go through I have to go through my collection and see um, if I'm actually missing any of those or not because I do want to have I don't know like I said I'm on an unofficial uh, Van Diemen's ink library I just really like their inks a whole lot. And um, yeah, I had gotten samples of them and they have been generous to me in the past um, with letting me order from them. But uh, yeah. yeah, I just get my inks where I can, you know what I mean? They're really lovely to work with, um, the owners of the shop. It's really, they're really, it's. I like, I like them a lot. I like their inks a whole lot. I have quite the collection. I know that they were, when the Underwater series came out, they uh, had reached out to me about um, showcasing some of the inks and stuff. Mandarin Duck Breast. Ooh, which bird? Oh, this is like a really dark, saturated, it's coating the vial. Oh, this is like a really nice dark blue. This is like my kind of blue. Oops, Venus pens. I was gonna write ink flight. We didn't get these in an ink flight, at least not yet. Um, this is Mandarin duck breast, right? Yes. This ink seems pretty dry, but I'm not certain if it's the cards because this is the new stock of the um, cards from uh, Coloring, or uh, which is like a toothier paper. So I'm not sure if it's the cards or if the ink is actually just dry. Could just be that it's so saturated it's kind of dryish. It's a very pretty color from what I'm seeing so far.
there sh there might be shimmer in this one. I'm going to shake it up. It looks like there's a little shimmer. So we're going to shake this up again just to be sure. I guess we should shake all of them because I don't know which are shimmers and which aren't. This one's definitely a shimmer. This is stunning. Oh, I love this. Looks like it's a bronzy sort of shimmer. I'm not supposed to, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be bronze or rose gold, but ooh. Dip a little more. Um, duck pressed. That's very nice. I like that a whole bunch. I should have saved this for the end because even if I even with blotting, this is going to turn the water all kinds of blue. Yep. No, well, not too bad. It could have been worse. This is stunning. And of course I missed the tiniest, barest little hint of... There. Again, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be rose gold or like a bronzy shimmer. It looks kind of rose goldy now. Not sure if it's picking it up, but... We'll see that one soon. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Okay, next up we have Peacock Neck. Elegant Peacock is what the, the a Peacock line is called. I think this is just a blue, not a shimmer, but we'll shake it up and double check. Then this pens. Oh, this is like a Robert Oster sort of pop blue kind of thing. Or maybe it's the darker one, Lake of Fire. Let's see. Let's see. Van Demons, Elegant, Peacock, Neck. I don't think this one's shimmer, but I know that the eye is shimmer because that's the one I have the bottle of. Another one that's going to change the bottle all kinds of blue. Definitely giving me um, soda pot blue vibes, although I'm not I'm not seeing so much of the sheen, although the really wet parts need to dry still, so we'll see. Oh, oops, nope, I forgot to do the swatch over here. This is neck. Elegant peacock neck. Beautiful. Still not seeing sheen. That doesn't mean it won't happen, but even like here, I'm not seeing it yet. Or maybe at all. Maybe we don't get it here. It's fine. 
I would maybe prefer that perhaps because I'm kind of tired of blue inks with red or pink sheen. Elegant Peacock Train. I was going to save the bottle for the end, but maybe I need to do, maybe we just finish out the peacock, the peacock line with the bottle. Okay, let's go ahead and move on into frame. I'm going to shake this up again because it does have shimmer. It's really bright green with, I think it's green shimmer. Again, very nice pens. Oh, that's so pretty. And demons elegant peacock train. It looks weird in the writing out of the glass dip pen here. I don't like the way that the dip pen wrote wrote it. Let's shake this up again to make sure we get maximum shimmer. As much shimmer as possible. Oh, it's gold shimmer. Is it gold shimmer? Maybe it's gold shimmer and I was wrong. I thought it was green. It looks like it's green in the ink. It's beautiful. Gold makes a little more sense, but I was kind of excited about green ink with green shimmer. Okay, peacock train. Okay, I do believe I'm just gonna finish out the peacock line with um, the eye, the peacock eye ink. It's pretty. It's this like blurple sort of ink, I believe, with this like silvery shimmer. Might be like a black, I, like I couldn't tell what this was. It seemed like it could be like a blurple or a, or a purple um, with like black sheen and silver shimmer or a purple ink was, I don't know. Either way, I was all about it. I was all about it and I needed to find out more and it seemed like it would be one that I'd want a bottle of. So I, I and so I got a bottle of it. This from Venice Pens. Then Demons. Peacock. I. shake this up one more time just to be on the safe side. 
because that shimmer did settle. I do believe this is a blue. Maybe blurple is correct. It's blue. Definitely got out of bounds with this one. Here's where we are so far. Now I can just move that one off to the side. We have the bottle of the way. It is a blue. I'm a little bummed that it's a blue because it kind of looked purple, but. That's why you should get a sample. It looks like there might be some green sheen. And we do have some like bluish purpley silvery shimmer. It's very subtle though. It like blends in. But I think this is going to be a blue with a green sheen. Which is exciting for, to me for some reason. I'm, I'm, I'm more jazzed about a blue with a green sheen than a blue with a red sheen. Let me tell you. Okay. Let me move this around again. Last ink sample in this bag. Looks like we've got like a teal. Mandarin duck nape. Okay, we're gonna finish mandarin duck as well. Okay. This looks like a very pretty color. Reminds me of Lamy Tourmaline. Or like diamond steel blue or something like that. We'll see. I think I have too much ink. Okay. And this pens. Van Diemen's Mandarin Duck Nape. A nice shading. Definitely leans more green, I think. I somehow got shimmer on here from all the shimmer. That's fine. I'm not mad at it. We like shimmer around here. Okay. That's very pretty. I think it's too green to be eau de nil. Reminds me of like eau de nil and steel blue. Whichever one's greener. I know you're all gonna want um, comparisons, I think. You're all going to want comparisons. And I do not have that available at the moment. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I wish I was better prepared. <laughs> Instead of having to like just run and do this at the moment that I get free time. I haven't really discussed what's been going on because it's I don't really want to air it on the internet. But um. Stuff at home is fine. It's just been busy and hectic and people that aren't usually around as much have been around more and it's cut into a lot of my alone time, which is when I record videos. So, yep. So we have Kookaburra Tail now. I can't remember. I, oh, this is, I think... My dear, my dear Countess is really excited about... Some of these, 
I think it's the kookaburra one. I think it's the crest one that she's really excited about. This one's really pretty though. Another brown, kookaburra tail. These pens. It's laughing kookaburra tail. And demons. This is a nice brown. This is definitely more brown than wing. I feel like I've gotten ink all over the place on these swatches. Mandarin duck nape went everywhere. I don't know how or when or why, but it did. Let's do this with a good brush. Well, they're all good, but let's do this with one that lays the ink down a lot. That's a very pretty brown. Definitely more brown than uh, Mandarin Duck. That's a stunning shade of brown. I like this one a lot. I like this one a lot. At least in the swatch. Just realized I don't think I shook the sample up, so I don't. Hopefully, it's not a shimmer. It doesn't look like it's a shimmer. I see no shimmer. So hopefully it's not a shimmer. This also just turned my water disgusting, so I'm gonna go change my water. Because these inks are so saturated, some of them. We'll be right back. That's a pretty brown. Okay. All right, moving on. We have Kookaburra Crest. Remember right, this is supposed to be like a pretty light brownish grayish, a grayish if you will maybe perhaps, we'll, start, we'll find out, Ugh. oh yes, oh yes, oh dear bestie, Van Demons, Laughing Kookaburra Crest. Stunning. Absolutely stunning in the writing so far. I don't think this is supposed to be a shimmer, but I'm gonna... Oh yeah, I don't think it is. This one does not cling to the vial, like, at all. I like that about it. I like that about that very much. If this is not a Countess Creepy Nims color, I don't fucking know what it is. I need to, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is their color, I think. Hmm. 
It's a little more like brown than gray, I would say, at least while it's wet. We'll see what it looks like when it's completely dry. But yeah, this reminds me of inks that our dear Countess loves. On the paper towel, it looks gray, but while it's wet on this card, it looks brown. And on the paper here, it looks gray. So it'll be interesting to see what it actually looks like. Like on Tomoe River paper when this watch is dry. Yes. I will leave it at yes for now. Okay, moving along. I don't know how much time I have, to be honest. Honey Bee Eater Wing. Is this a shimmer? I don't think so, but... I may need to speed this along just a little bit. Okay. I have a feeling I'm going to need to do a, a few lines on this one. And I'm just going to have to get over it. This is delightfully unsaturated. Oops, too big of a dip. Too big of a dip. Okay, V and Demons. V and Demons. European Honey the Eater Wing. That is very messy and annoying. This is a delightfully desaturated yarn, uh, yarn ink. This is, this is a delightful color. This is one that's not going to be for everybody. Reminds me a little of Sailor Washington. Because that's like kind of like a... Well, I wouldn't say it's desaturated, but... What I can't tell is if we're getting, if it's like a chroma shader. Is that what we're calling it now? Can I just say that I hate that word? I don't know why I irrationally hate the word chroma shader. Because we had a word for it. We It was dual shading. And if you knew it was with more than three colors, it was like a multi-shader. And I don't know. Like, well, I'm sure like chroma shader is linguistically correct. I just irrationally hate it for some reason. <laughs> Does anybody else feel that way or am I just the crazy one? Like who came up with that word? Who decided that that's what we call them now? Was it the pen companies? Was it a YouTuber? Tell me, I gotta know. I just gotta know. I have a feeling of like, I have a feel. It reminds me of Colorverse um, Alpha Pisces, actually. Alpha Pisces might be a little more saturated, but that's like the vibe it gives me. Why is there shimmer on here? This is not a shimmer ink, but I have shimmer in my swatch, probably from the brush. Honeybee Eater Breast. I guess it is hard to get like shimmer out of the bristles when you're just swishing it around but 
That is not a shimmer rank, so don't get too excited. Okay, we have Honeybee Eater Breast. I like this one too. European honey bee eater breast. That's what I thought it was. I just wanted to check. That's delightful. I really like that. I know I like everything, but like, I'll have a more informed opinion once I finally write with it, but I can, I'm just commenting on the color at the moment. Looks like it has really nice shading. Is this a shimmer ink? I don't think so, no. All right, I'll shake it up anyway, just in case. This might be one of those brushes that just has shimmer in it, so. Or it's just reflection light. I need to get more craft store brushes so I can have, I need to get like a whole slew of them so I can have like a brush for one ink. And I don't have to worry about this. This is like a really calming, nice color for me to look at. I, I think I enjoy this one. I love the shading in that writing. I know it's a glass dip pen, so it'll vary when I get it in a real pen, but I think it's pretty. Um, breast goes here. Yeah, I really love, I really love the shading in that writing. <laughs> I like that a whole lot. It's going to be too light for some people. I can already tell, but, um, yeah, it's lovely. All right, next up we have Honey Bee Eater Chin, which looks like this is gonna be a bright, cheerful yellow. You'd be disappointed if it's not. Do I have? Switch out these papers so I don't mess up the yellow. Is this a legible yellow? We shall see. Oh, I think we've got a legible one. Which is this? Chin. That's a nice yellow. Yeah, I said it. It's bright. It's in your face. It's got a little bit of orange in it, it looks like, to make it a little legible. Or maybe it's just like darker yellow pigments that make it more legible. It doesn't seem very shady, but it's very pretty. Is this close to the waddle yellow? I don't know. It kind of reminds me of something from the Harvest series. Um... But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I think th th there were yellows in the heart. I think it was the Harvest series that had yellows. Um, this is Chin. That's very pretty. 
It looks orange. It looks like there is some orange in it when I dab it on the paper towel. Um, I think that's what makes yellows legible, just like the slightest, tiniest maybe hint. It seems like it's a pretty even all over color, but you can read it. You can read it. That's all I care about. It's all I care about in a yellow. Not that I use yellows all that often, but if I'm going to use a yellow, I want to be able to read it. Unless I'm doing some sort of art thing where it doesn't matter, but I don't do art, so. <laughs> I primarily write with my pens or empty the ink onto a blank page when I've decided I'm done using it, so. Legibility is a must for me. Not like a must, but, you know. I prefer to be able to read what I'm looking at. Okay. Honey Bee Eater Nape, which looks like this beautiful red. This this looks stunning. I'm excited about this one. Let's go. I'm like all about red inks lately, even though I don't use them that often. And I have quite a few favorites. <laughs> so I don't know why I need more red. Oh, hi. Hello. Man demons. Honey bee eater nape. I need to look this bird up. Euro European honey bee eater nape. That's gorgeous. Giving me a little vampire bat vibes, except I know that that's a lot darker and a lot more closer to writer's blood, perhaps. But, um, yeah, it's... Hmm. Also, it's giving me... This seems like it would be more of a vampire squid red than, um... Other inks that are called that name. know that I care for it so much in the swatch, but I do like it in that glass dip braiding. It's kind of like brick red sort of in, um, in this application. Going on dry again. I don't know if that's the ink or the card. I, I feel like everything goes down pretty dryly on these cards. Um, So it's really hard to tell if it's the card or the ink. Because I haven't written it with it yet. I mean, it flowed pretty nicely off the glass dip pen. And this is just enough that it'll bother me. So we fix it. It's drying, interestingly. I think I prefer it when it's wet, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. We have two, four, five left. This is, <laughs> this is giving me very Gryffindor vibes. I know Harry Potter is like not the business anymore, but yeah, very, very Gryffindor vibes right there. Okay, next up we have, okay, so I've completed Elegant Peacock, Euro, European Honeybee, Laughing Kookaburra, and Mandarin Duck. We just have Anna's Hummingbird and Blue Jay left, so. So I think we have like three blues. I bet Marsha enjoys this, enjoys this series, because there's lots of blues in here. Marsha, Marsha. Let me know what you think of these. 
That goes for anybody, actually. Blue Jay Wing. I love to know what all of you think about these inks. If you've experienced them or want to get them or have added them to your Amanda made me do it wish list. <laughs> This is very dark. Van Diemen's blue. J wing. I don't think this is supposed to shimmer, but I'm going to shake it up just to make sure because I've been bad about doing that. It's like a denim blue jean blue sort of. That's very pretty. But yeah, it definitely reminds me of jeans. I'm hoping that I have time to go through the Van Diemen swatches that I already have to see how these compare to some of the ones that I already have. Um, my time is getting cut short though. I don't know, blue jay tail. The longer I take the swatch, the less I might have to do comparisons. So. Because I don't know when uh, Rumi's going to be home. I've tried recording with him home one time. Even said, I'm going to be recording now. And it didn't go very well. In fact, the video I did of it is one that I still need to look at. Blue J tail. And see if I can salvage it or if I have to somehow cut the audio and do a voiceover. And I just haven't had the energy to do that. So I haven't. But I have a Hobonichi video coming. Well, as of the swatching of these inks, it hasn't been uploaded. Or edited that could change I don't know if this will go up first or if the Hobonichi will go up first but um, the plan is to get the Hobonichi up and then put this one up the next day so we'll see it's Tuesday the 17th of January that I'm recording this so we'll see I don't I don't know why I feel the need to wrap myself out about videos because I know a lot of people like batch film videos way ahead of time and then upload them and I just I just can't do it I talk about too much real-time stuff that I just need to get it up as soon as possible <laughs> except in the few times where I have like done swatching videos and not put them up for months for months at a time like I have another swatching video that I need to put up that I swatched like in August that I never got around to uploading because then it was like September and then it was yeah like I'm sure y'all don't care but it's a video that I recorded and I want and I want to upload it because it's inks and people like seeing inks that's why I do these videos so you can see the swatches also so we could just like hang out and chill out but like I like showing off inks I've wondered before if I did YouTube, if I wasn't doing YouTube, if I would still um, be collecting as fast of a rate as I do. And honestly, I think I would because I know myself. I like trying new. I like seeing new things. Like I had, oops, excuse me. 
I had a very hefty collection. Blue Jay Crown. I had a very hefty collection before I started YouTube, so... Um, so yeah, I think my collection would still look like this. I just wouldn't be able to talk about it with people. And some people have had not... Have had some critical things to say. Which is fine. You're entitled to your own opinion. Um, but I don't tell you how to spend your money. So you don't get to tell me how to spend mine. And also you're watching it. So you must have been interested at some in some form or fashion in what is going on here. So whether it's a specific item you're looking for or whatever. So I feel like it's been helpful. Um, this is Fiend Demons. Blue Jay Crown. This is stunning. Plus I've gotten to know like a lot of you um, through doing this. Like, I mean, a lot of us are like chatting in the comments only and we've had some like exchanges or emails or swapped some pen mail, which reminds me I have like some pen mail to send out. I have a pen to clean pen that's going to a new home um that's still happening for the person that uh is getting it i just have to clean the pen and give it time to dry so it doesn't come to you on the ass steam oh this is pretty i'm pretty sure i have like 72 samples that look just like this but this is really pretty old. It definitely seems like it's too light in the writing, although in a pen, maybe it'll be different, but look, <gasps> there's like some pink, looks like pink clouds. Oh, that's really pretty. I hate that I love this one so much. Okay, we have two inks left and I need to hurry up because I hear cars outside. Um... I'm hoping I have time because I know what the appointment is and I'm hoping that the person gets to spend extra time at their appointment. Not extra time, but anyway. We're at an hour, although not, of the, not all of that is time that will be in the video. So we have Anna's hummingbird, Anna's hummingbird face, and Anna's hummingbird wing. Now I'm going to do the green one first, because why not? I think, are these both shimmers? I think they are. Oh! Definitely shaken up good this time. Anna's hummingbird, green is wing. Are we in the frame? Okay. Then this pens. Raven, demons. Anna's hummingbird wing. We had to do it. We had to do it. We had to go to the third line. I don't know why that bothers me so much. I just like having two lines. I don't know. It's my own personal quirk. Okay, we're going to do big soaky brush. This is why these brushes have shimmer in them because I use the ones that soak up all the ink to get the maximum shimmer coverage oh that's so pretty that's so pretty is this my green ink with green shimmer looks like it looks like it I was right I just had the wrong ink. Stunning. It's even like an olivey green. Oh, that's pretty. I like.
like it. Although I should have used the other one because that was the one that had green in it. Oh, stunning, stunning. Oh, I forgot to do. I forgot to do the Tomoy River. Oh my God, that Blue Jay crown is going to kill me. It's going to make me die. Just like watching it. I don't know if it's in the camera. It's not. Um, but it's actually like physically killing me. It's so, it's so dang pretty. It's so, it looks like a cloud, like on a, you know, a cloud, like on a, like on one of those, like days where like there's been a storm and the sky is all like pink and purple and blue like after like the it's like a storm a sunset after a storm oh my gosh Anna's hummingbird face I don't think this one is a shimmer I think it was just the other one but we're gonna shake it up to make sure Hummingbird face. I have run out of space on my paper towel. Let's blot these. I think we'd have to clean this dip pen a little bit more, but. That's pretty. I was thinking in other swatches that it looked like inks I already had, but this actually I think is different. This is a different pink. It's very pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna let these dry. I'm gonna see if I can find some of comparisons from their current line. Um, like that yellow that I think looks pretty similar and some of the others. Um, and uh, yeah, then we'll do like a, we'll do a quick little uh, comparison. We'll see the dried swatches and I will pull out any of the um, other Van Diemen's inks that just to see what they look like in case you were curious. So in case you were like, is this that ink? Yes, it is. Or no, it isn't or whatever. So I'll see you in just a moment. Okay. We've returned. We've returned. We're gonna lay out the inks. Hopefully get them all in frame. Maybe I need to up this a little bit. So we have hummingbird wing, hummingbird face. This is still kind of drying, but it has like this gold sheen right where I left like a ton of ink. So we have peacock eye, which is this like blurply blue with like blue shimmer and kind of a black coppery, like a black coppery sheen. I love it. I, I'm actually, yeah, I like it. Elegant peacock neck again, soda pop blue vibes. Peacock train. This is like this is wild. Honey bee eater nape. I'm like on the fence about this one. I liked this one a lot when it was wet, but I don't know that I care for it so much dry. Honey bee eater chin. This is still kind of wild to me. Honey Bee Eater Wing. I still love this one. Honey Bee Eater Breast. I love that one too. Um, Blue Jay Crown. I love that one as well. Blue Jay Tail. Uh, it's like meh. Maybe this one is more soda pop blue. I don't know. Whatever. 
Blue Jay wing. Still reminds me of jeans. I like that. We have a Kookaburra crest. Kookaburra crest. Kookaburra tail. Almost has like a black sheen on it on this brown here. That's very lovely. Kookaburra wing. We have Mandarin duck breast. Mandarin duck nape. And Mandarin duck wing. I love all of the duck. I love the crest and tail of the kookaburra. I love the chin of the honeybee. Actually, I love all three of these. Meh, on that one. I'm glad I got the bottle of that one, I think. And these are nice as well. I really like that one, and I really like that one, and I really like that one. So I like maybe like half of them. I don't know that I need bottles of them, but if I, there's about half of them that I would get bottles for. This is my paper towel chromatography. <laughs> I don't know what's what here anymore. We started here and then went here and then went here and then it just got all discombobulated. Um, but yeah, that's the paper towel chromatography. Um, as for what Van Diemen's already offers that I have on this ring here, um, that's not really anything like any of there. Let's see these blues. This, what blue do we have here? This is. Frenache. I forget how you say this word. It's French, I think. Aquamarine. This is probably the closest, but I don't get a ton of sheen here. So. And the writing's a little lighter. It might be a little Azure Kingfisher here, but maybe not. have many other I, it looks like I don't have many other blues blues or at least blues like that black and seas now it doesn't really look like it matches any of the other blues that I have here although where's blue ringed octopus these aren't really on here in a certain way I guess blue ringed octopus is not here at the moment. Not at all remotely the same. Um, kookaburra wing I thought looked like pixie parasols, but it's bluer and maybe a little darker. Honeybee breast might be a little closer, but that seems like it's a little greener even. Sunflower. see some of these browns. Probably the closest is the original oak wood brown, but I don't, I think that's been reformulated and that's one of the ones that I haven't gotten yet. Tamar Pinot Noir. Duck next to Devil's Kitchen. That's the original. I can't remember if that's the that might be the original formula. Um, here's different greens. Different greens. Blue Jay Wing kind of looks like hanging like, but I think this got reformed. I'm not sure if this one got discontinued or reformulated. I definitely need to go through my cards and find out what I need to like label. Oh, wine glass day. That's really close. This one's lighter, but similar blue. This is darker. That's darker still. parasols. We compared these already. This is my friend ring. Um, okay, Launceston Fog next to Laughing Kookaburra. Can you see these? 
This almost looks a little greener. So there's that. What's the other? Midnight Eclipse. It's probably closest to Midnight Eclipse. I don't think, where did I get that from? Because that's not from, oh, maybe it is. Maybe it's a sample that I got for my birthday. So this seems to be closest to Midnight Eclipse, although this seems warmer and browner. Okay, yellows. Waddle yellow. Okay, that is nothing at all like waddle yellow. And it's even brighter and oranger than beeswax. I thought there was maybe another yellow, but it must not be on this card. I need to finish sorting all my stuff. Peanut brittle? Definitely not peanut brittle. That's more brown. Seashell? No, definitely not that. Sea Dragon. This is more green, less yellow. So yeah, I don't know where like the berry colored inks are. I think those are some of the ones that need to be put in here. So here's Vampire Bat. It's not like that. Oh, here's Nape. It's definitely warmer than Vampire Bat. Where's Duck? Duck Wing. Similar but different. I feel like this one has more of like a sheen on it. I think this is maybe... I think they're different. They seem different somehow, but very similar. So yeah, so there you go. I'm sure that you would all love comparisons to other inks and um, maybe I'll go through my swatches and see how they compare to some. Um, oh, I thought this looked like Sailor Washington and I happen to have those right here. So let's, let's see how close I was to thinking that's correct. This seems warmer. It's very close to Michigan. Blue Jay's tail. Where's the other one? Peacock's neck. How does New, York, New Jersey compare? That's brighter. But still fun. Here is Maine next to Laughing Kookaburra Crest. A little darker. Just for grins, since I compare all browns to Sailor Texas, because Sailor Texas is my favorite brown. That's how these compare. They're different. This one seems darker, not quite as orange. But Uh, where is, I thought this was going to, this is the one I thought that was going to have a green sheen and it doesn't, but it does have a sheen and it has this really nice shimmer to it. So yeah, all in all, a really lovely collection. I do have some that I would probably want to get bottles of. If the, if the opportunity arises, I really love um, that one. Although I have ink that looks like that, so maybe not. I do love um, the crest and the tail. I really love duck breast. I love how that looks on the Tomo River paper. That almost has like the same, like a sim it's like a dark green, like a forest green sort of sheen. This is still drying and these are still drying.
That that has like the greenish sheen. This is lovely. On Tomoe River paper. Okay, so these two, so this is soda pop blue. Like if I was comparing these to Robert Oster, and if I could, uh, if I could find my cards, I don't think. No, they're not here. I've been cleaning and organizing and moving things around, and I'm still. I make when I clean, I make a giant mess, and then it just magically ends up clean. This is comparable to Robert Oster soda pop blue, and this is comparable to Robert Oster Lake of Fire. I have both of those inks, and they are they remind me of it. Hands down, hands down, that's what those are. This is lovely. It reminds me of Pennsylvania a touch. This is more gray. Never mind. Where's Blue Jay Wing? Yeah, never mind. Not really. But yeah, stunning. Stunning, 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 stunning. This still looks kind of purple to me. This is like a blurple. The shimmer looks like it could be like blue and pink, which is why it probably looks purple. I love that sheen around the edge. I wonder if you get that in the pen. This isn't shimmery, but the swatch is shimmery. There's shimmer everywhere. I have shimmer everywhere. This does remind me of Lamy Tourmaline a little bit. But yeah, these are Tomoe River paper swatches. There you go. Let me know what you think. Are you interested in any of these inks? Are you planning on getting some? We'll see. I have the bottle of Peacock Eye, which I'm kind of pleased with. I'm going to have to get that in a pen and see how it writes. Um, and yeah, I really, I really love that. And I really love that, but I don't need a yellow. And I really love that. I think if I were, if I were going to narrow it down to two more bottles of ink, mm, three, four, five. I don't really need that one because I have uh, Alpha Pisces. If I were going to narrow it down to five more bottles of ink, I think I would narrow it down to these five. I think that's what I would do. I think that's what I would do. I really love that, but I don't need that. I don't need another one of those. <sighs> I should just use the one that I have. Or use the sample. Mm. Mm. I think Bestie's going to like that one. Okay. All right. That's it. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I love to add these uh, Van Diemen's ink swatches to my catalog. And uh, yeah. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Take care. Bye.